right, everyone. Tonight is Saturday night, and we are at the bridge. If you can't tell by all the echoes and stuff like that. So it's a small gathering, small get-together on a nice night. It was rainy out. We needed a place to go. So this is where we ended up. And uh, it's getting loud. And just felt right Phone blown like a tailpipe Today's schedule airtight It turned a short day into a long night See you soon if you got the heart Meet you outside Rennie Park When I was 18 years old I was working in the restaurant business, okay? And this one time I actually got my finger stuck in a dishwasher The boss actually fired me He fired her too But... Oh! <laughs> Zoned out with a blank stay. I'm looking into the future. Hold up, ain't nothing gon' hold us. Put the devil to the side. Got an angel on my shoulder, and I'm like, hello. It's good to finally let go. I ain't worried about Right now, I'm just embarrassing myself with how dirty the inside of my car is. Yeah, it was blue at one point. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's like 4 a.m. and I'm bored again. We're not 40 a.m. This is like lethal level. Like he could bust ass so hard right now, <laughs> and it would right be right there. I had arm the other day. The actual, the actual drop height from which a human being can be killed is about three meters. If you fall the wrong way from three meters, you will die. The more you know. Trying to man this so bold, I'm the captain man when it's crunch time. I don't care if I'm getting paid, need the week, but I get the day. Wide awake when I need sleep, I'm me deep, but I set the way. Focused on that one mistake, let it free, don't let it break. Did I ever, did I ever tell you guys about the time I gave up my seat on the bus for a blind person? I know, I don't know. That's how I lost my job as a bus driver. Anyway. First time in a long time that actually everyone that I've noticed has gotten out of their vehicle, walked away from it, and has been talking, conversing, and shaking hands, and it does mean a lot. That is what the car community needs, and that's what we uh, ended up getting. There was something that I noticed today. I was coming down a uh, street in Halifax, and there just so happened to be a whole bunch of baseball players sitting at an ice cream shop and I totally forgot the connection that most people lost with the car community when you take and you pass them and they sit there and they make honking noises or spinning signs so that you could take and do something to make them happy and respond to them and the funny thing is they don't even care what vehicle it is they're just happy with the cars responding going by kind of like it is right here right now where it is great to know that it's a bunch of people no matter what they drove they're coming here to hang out, to relax, to look at other people's vehicles, and to be part of something, rather than to stand off to the side and not be part of it. All right, I want to take a moment here, and I want to actually congratulate Roads Here Suck for over a thousand subscribers. It has been a very long time. Him and I have been friends. It's quite amazing. I still have videos when we were doing bad things on the canal lock. <laughs> Drag races down drag a races, mile drag canal races lock. down an eighth mile. Miracle, yeah. miracle they didn't come you in and tease our asses. Did it. I have you doing it too. <laughs> in his 300. Or when Isaac reversed. Oh, I have that one too. Yeah. Like, Check three, two. Check. Check. Isaac forgot to take it out of reverse and whoop. Those two videos are going to be here and here. <laughs> but I just want to take some time to let you guys know. Make sure you hit up some of the stuff that him and I did together in collabs because I'll tell you what, he definitely deserves some more attention than he actually gets. He has some of the most amazing dash cam footage, which I salute him on that because it is ridiculously hard. I guarantee you to go through all that footage. Dude. Me, I, cry, I usually I cry every time. Me, I have everything plotted out. That you have to hope for stuff. That's what I did with the 360 cam, though. I wanted to do that with the 360 cam. Ooh, that yeah. pretty damn cool. Well, that stuff, that thing gets... You don't have to aim it. I don't have to do this. Right. 360 cameras. When you put it on YouTube, do people, like, are people able to move the They give around, you a or? heat map. When you put it on YouTube, YouTube provides you with information that shows you where your viewers are looking. That's awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. And I'm trying to integrate that in, but it's a little difficult because the stuff's new right now, so... 
we'll get to that later. I figure I'm just going to use that stuff for vlogging so that you guys can take and look around and look at whatever you want while I'm talking. Back to the festivities.